everyone, my name is Michelle and I'm a volunteer with the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center and this is our weekly wolf blog, guest starring Shia. Uh, so today I want to cover a few topics regarding the Mexican gray wolf because a lot of things have been happening with them recently. So unfortunately some of it's bad news, uh, such as in Arizona, uh, two wolf pups were found dead. One of them, the causes are unknown, the other one seems to have died from December. Uh, so unfortunately, a lot of wolf pups do not survive their first year. In fact, about 50% of puppies never see their first birthday. So unfortunately, death is common, especially in areas that you have diseases such as distemper, rabies, um, or even mange. So that's a little bit of bad news. But overall, Mexican greys are starting to do a little bit better in the wild. Uh, this year was the highest population that they've had since the reintroduction program started in 1997. Uh, their population actually went up to 113 animals between Arizona and New Mexico. So it's still not a lot. It's not where the population should be, definitely not where the population needs to be, um, but they are increasing in number compared to last year where they had a significant decrease in the population. All right, so another really neat thing that happened was the St. Louis Zoo and the Endangered Wolf Center partnered up uh, earlier this year. Um, to artificially inseminate some Mexican greys. Now, what was interesting about this is that the material that they used was over 20 years old. So the animals that are technically the parents of those wolves aren't even around anymore. So that was a really neat thing to have happened. Another really good thing that happened in the world for Mexican greys was that the U.S. 10th Circuit of Appeals Court actually blocked an injunction that was set in place by New Mexico last year uh, that blocked the release for Mexican greys in New Mexico. So thankfully they did overthrow that and now Mexican greys are able to be released back into New Mexico again, uh, which is of course part of their historic range. So some good things happening for Mexican greys and then of course, uh, like usual with most wolves, a lot of bad things is happening too. Uh, but overall for the Mexican greys, this was a pretty good week. Thank you again for joining us for this week's wolf vlog. Shia, as you can see, is getting a little bit impatient. Uh, so we will see you guys next week and thank you. Uh, thank you for watching our weekly wolf vlog. You silly boy, what are you doing?